Atlas holds up the heavens while the nymphs sleep soundly in the Garden of Hesperides. At first sight, we're struck by a scene of high and rich symbolic status. This initial introduction may feel both magnanimous and magnificent. We see how the placement draws our eye within the work. It almost appears as if we're staring through an oculus as this frame acts to both contain the space and conveying a highly harmonious order. Of course, this ornate frame acts to show its best to the most high and sacred, and it almost feels as if we're peering through an oculus or a portal of sorts as the scene exists far beyond. When we look at colors in this canvas, the primary tone that we see is gold. Even despite this, we see additional tones such as red and green. Gold is not only a symbol of pure material property, but it also exists as a symbol of resilience and even high status as well. But we see space utilized to its utmost possibility in the piece before us. We see this balance that almost appears triangular in nature as you draw an implied line on the horizon going up to the highest of heavens or the earth which Atlas supports. But what exactly is happening here? We see the strong symbol of Greek mythology known as Atlas. As a descendant of the primordial, Atlas supports the world while preserving the pillars which separate our earth and sky. We see two pillars placed on either side of our main subject, Atlas. This is most reminiscent of the Greek Ionic order. These are often associated with a more graceful and feminine spirit compared to the more masculine Doric order. We also see seven feminine subjects sleeping on the grass and garden of the work at hand. These nymphs are meant to guard and tend to the Garden of Hesperides. And the Garden of Hesperides hosts a single tree which produces golden apples. It is said that this tree was gifted to Hera on her wedding day with Zeus by the goddess of Gaia. It's often said that Hera begged of Gaia to gift her this tree, of course due to its magical property to plant them in her gardens. Yet we see the nymphs sleeping at this time. Although their guard is down, the restless and hundred-headed dragon Ladon takes over as Apollo falls into night. Yet we see Apollo rising once again in the far horizon, and another day has redeemed itself. This is a very beautiful and highly symbolic scene. I really hope you'll enjoy it today. This piece was created by John Singer Sargent using oil paint on canvas in the year of 1912. The original artist is often cited as one of the best painter of portraits throughout his generation. Like I said, really hope you'll enjoy today. This is a beautiful, symbolic, very rich work. I really hope you'll enjoy We talked about so many different things from the symbol of Atlas. We talked about these ionic pillars. We talked about these nymphs sleeping in the Garden of Hesperides. We even explored a bit of history of the Garden of Hesperides, such as the tree being gifted to Hera by Gaia on her wedding day with Zeus. Once again, really hope you'll enjoy it today. If y'all enjoyed today's episode, go check out the original artist, truly a legend known as John Singer Sargent. That's all I have for today. Really hope you'll enjoy it. My name's Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode.